So today has been quite the crazy day with spoilers. I mean, we just got a brand new way to ramp in Mono White, and yeah, this card is going to be very, very expensive. But don't leave just yet to go check out that episode because you've got to stay tuned for this episode on what very well might be a better Phyrexian Arena. So to find out all about this card, well, let's jump into it. So the card that I'm going to be talking about on this episode is Black Market Connections. It's an enchantment for a two and a black that says at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, choose one or more. Yeah, it does say one or more. Anyways, create a treasure token. You lose one life. Draw a card. You lose two life. Create a 3-2 colorless shapeshifter creature token with changeling. You lose three life. My goodness, is this a crazy powerful enchantment for just three mana. Again, this does specify one or more, so you can pick every single one of these options, which is pretty ludicrous. You can make a treasure token, draw a card, and on top of all that, make a 3-2 creature token. And that creature token just happens to have changeling, which of course means that is every creature type. So yeah, for any kind of a tribal deck, you get extra bonuses for that. Or, you know, a Lord's tribal deck or a Jave Shifter deck. There's a lot of things. Now, obviously, there is a downside to choosing any of these. Or again, obviously, all of them as well. I mean, you do have to lose life to do so. That being said, obviously, there are plenty of decks out there that can either mitigate that life loss or even benefit from life loss. And we'll talk about some examples here in a bit. That being said, yeah, I mean, I'm going to make at least those first two choices pretty much every single time. Yeah, sure, I'll take a treasure token and a card for three life overall. Yeah, every single turn. That is a ton of value. So even with just those two options, and again, I say just those two because you have that third option that you can just add on if you really want to, you are getting additional temporary ramp to put you ahead of your opponents, again, with those additional treasures, and you're also getting additional cards to put you at a card advantage above your opponents as well. Commander is a format where you start off with quite a bit of life. Again, 40 life, that is a ton. And again, there are plenty of decks out there that can either, you know, essentially mitigate this life loss by gaining a ton of life in other ways, or again, actually benefit from losing that life. But yeah, I can see this card seeing a ton of play, even if your deck doesn't benefit from life loss or really doesn't have all that much life gain, these are still fantastic options to help give you some additional value throughout the game. And when I say some additional value, I guess I mean a ton of additional value. But of course, on top of all these benefits, there are even ways to take even more advantage of this card. But really quick, before we talk about ways to take even more advantage of that card, let's talk about this card with Phyrexian Arena. This card sees a ton of play in Commander, and agree or disagree with whether, you know, it's a very good card in Commander, it, it does see a, a ton of play. It's an enchantment for one black black, and it says, beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card, and you lose one life. So, obviously, in comparison, this one really doesn't give you any options. You know, obviously, this is only one life for one card, but you don't, you know, have a choose one or more. You can't also make a treasure token. You can't also make a 3-2 changeling. That being said, obviously, this is effective card draw for, you know, not a ton of life. One life for one card in Commander is going to be worth it pretty much every day of the week. But yeah, I, I mean, this one also has a more restrictive casting cost even at one black black instead of two and a black. So yeah, it, it could definitely be possible that Black Market Connections is going to see even more play than Frexian Arena, which already, again, sees a ton of play, even though it's a $13 card or so. It sees, sees playing like 12 or 13% of all eligible decks out there. I mean, in a way, it's kind of like a Phyrexian Arena slash Bitter Blossom slash uh, upkeep thingy that makes a treasure token for life. I don't know if they're one of the, there's one of those out there right now yet, but yeah, Bitter Blossom. Another incredibly expensive card. I mean, I think this one's like 50 or $60 or so, but yeah. Uh, an enchantment for one in a black that says, beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and create a one one black fairy rogue creature token with flying. So this one, again, like Phyrexian Arena, is one life for one benefit, whereas, you know, again, our new card is like, hey, three benefits for all the life. Now, in comparison, when it comes to creature tokens, obviously with this one, you are losing less life, you know, one to the three, but you're getting a smaller token, though, again, it does have evasion. Again, though, where Bitter Blossom is very good at what it does, again, Black Market Connections does, well, everything. You can pick all of them. 
And of course, like Bitter Blossom, there are ways to, you know, actually gain some of that life back or all that life back or even more by making that creature token. I mean, if you've got a way to give those changeling tokens lifelink, you know, with something like Whip of Erebos or something like that. Or if you've got a way to drain your opponents with it and gain some life when that creature dies, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, I mean, sometimes actually just, you know, adding in that loss of three life for that creature token is going to be more than worth it because you can actually either gain that life back or even more so. But speaking of additional value... Of course, we can gain even more value if we also have access to blue with cards like Teferi's Aegis Insight and Thought Reflection. Teferi's Aegis Insight says if you would draw a card except the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead, and Thought Reflection is very similar. If you would draw a card, draw two cards instead. So this makes, you know, again, that middle decision, the draw card, lose two life, even more impactful. Now it's essentially, hey, draw two cards, lose two life. So again, we're back to kind of that Phyrexian Arena amount where it's one life for one card, but again, it's twice as fast. So yeah, of course, Black Market Connections is fantastic on its own, but there are plenty of ways to get even more out of it and to make the amount of value that you're getting even more absurd. Or, you know, like I've mentioned in a ton of videos lately, it seems like because treasures just keep being a thing, uh, Zorn! If you've got access to red, yeah, Zorn can help you get even more value out of that first decision again, which is being able to get a treasure token for just one life, now instead, because of Zorn, which says if you create one or more treasure tokens and say create those tokens plus initial treasure token, you are getting two treasures for one life, which is just pretty absurd. And speaking of absurd, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned Academy Manufacturer in like five, six, seven, eight. I'm not even sure at this point in episodes in the spoiler season because of how many treasure cards we've gotten, but yeah. It says if you create a clue, food, or treasure token, instead create one of each. So obviously we just get an additional, you know, clue and food tokens because why not? Why not just get some additional card advantage and life gain out of this and again with that food and that life gain that can help offset some of that life that you're losing for these decisions that you're making. On top of also, you know, just getting additional card advantage as well, which is just lovely. And speaking of lovely, well, okay, incredibly expensive lovely cards, Annoying Procession and Doubling Season because yeah, those cards are good with tokens, who knew? Annoying Procession says, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. And Doubling Season essentially does that exact same thing, but also with counters as well. But yeah, tokens is what we care about in this combination. Because not only will these double up the amount of treasure tokens that we are making with this, but also again, if we do decide to make that 3-2 changeling, cool, now we get two of them. So essentially we can double up each of the token producing parts of this card. But yeah, on its own, even without any additional help, obviously Black Market Connections helps give you an absurd amount of value already. And of course, again, you know, outside of just gaining life, which of course is a fantastic way to offset some of the, you know, downsides to that card, you can also just utilize life swap effects, or, you know, a life setting effect, I guess you'd say, with repaint in kind. It says each player's life total becomes the lowest life total among all players. So again, I mean, you might be getting all of these benefits by paying, you know, essentially six life every single turn if you really want to, to get a treasure, a card, and also a 3-2 with Changeling. But now all of your opponents are going to be paying the price with you as well. Or, you know, just a straight up life swap effect like an Axis Mortality, which I love that card. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may have two target players exchange life totals, or, you know, a repeatable one as well, like Soul Conduit, which is a pay six tap, two target players exchange life totals. So with these, again, you are getting all of the benefits out of, you know, paying a ton of life to, you know, make treasure tokens, draw cards, make creature tokens, and then you're not really footing the bill. You're like, okay, um, I'll, I'll switch you. You, um, you just paid for all that. Thank you. I'll take your life total. And then I'll actually, you know, draw even more. Make more treasures, make more changelings with that life total. And then swap it again. So yeah, life swap can definitely be something that can really take advantage of a card like this. But when it comes to commanders that really might want to utilize this card, one of the first ones that came to my mind was Villas, Broker of Blood. It's an 8-8 that has, whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. So yeah, Villas is absolutely going to love this card because Villas loves losing life. Essentially, you're like, okay, yeah, I'll uh, pay the one for the treasure. I'll pay the two for the card draw. I'll pay for the you know, three for the changeling. Okay, I lost six life. Oh, it looks like I get to draw six more cards. So essentially, again, for the cost of six life, you are making a treasure token, making a three to a changeling, and you're also just replacing your entire hand. Or I guess I shouldn't even say replacing. You're just drawing an, <laughs> an additional entire hand, essentially. So yeah, I'm sure you have plenty of ways to either gain life or again, life swap with someone else in that, or, you know, just, just find ways to win. Next up, how about a commander like Kakusho, the Evening Star, a 5-5 flying dragon spirit that has, when it dies, each opponent loses 5 life, you gain life, you only life lost this way. 
Assuming three opponents in a game like Commander, yeah, you're going to be gaining 15 life every single time your Commander dies. And, and of course, there are plenty of easy ways to get it back right away, so you can keep doing that. And, and yeah, just gaining life at 15 increments can make it well worth it to keep paying even the six life every single turn for that treasure, the card drawn, and the changeling. So yeah, Kakusho is definitely going to be looking into this card. And, and I guess I should say, uh, any commander that is very, very good at life gain should probably be considering this card. Again, I should say, budget aside. Game Ball Console of Allocation is a 2-3 human advisor that says whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, that player loses 2 life, and you gain 2 life. How dare your opponents want to cast spells? Now, when they do, you get to gain back some of that life that you threw away to, you know, get some treasures, draw some cards, make some changelings, why not? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't say throw away, because that's a ton of value for that. Or how about another commander that can actually benefit from losing life with Greven Predator Captain? It's a 5-5 with Menace that has, it gets plus X plus zero, or X the amount of life you've lost this turn. On top of that, when it attacks, you can sacrifice another creature, and if you do, you draw cards equal to the creature's power and lose life equal to its toughness. So yeah, you're, you're definitely going to be already finding ways to lose life with this commander, of course. But yeah, even with just this new enchantment and this commander in play, again, if you make all three of those choices, you're losing six life, Greven becomes an 11-5 with Menace, which already is a two-shot KO on any opponent, again, assuming you can get it through. And of course, you probably have ways to give Greven double strike, so yeah, it's a one-shot KO then at that point. And finally, a commander that I have to bring up with this, because it's near and near to my heart, one of my very first commander decks was a Selenia Dark Angel life swap deck, and yeah, Selenia definitely will want this card. Selenia is a simple 3-3 angel with flying that has pay 2 life, return Selenia to its owner's hand. So essentially, you can just keep paying that 2 life again, and again, and again, to essentially set your life total to whatever you want it to be, you know, in even number increments below your current life total. Because you can just, you know, put it on the stack and then respond to it, then put it on the stack and respond to it. It's an ability you can keep doing again and again and again. But yeah, Selenia is no stranger to losing life and then again, just utilizing a life swap type of effect or again, something like repaying kind to set everyone down to basically no life. But yeah, at the end of the day, this is a very powerful card, one that is pretty reminiscent to some other cards that see a lot of playing commander and are very expensive. So yeah, I, I can imagine this one is also going to see a lot of playing commander and be very expensive. And again, when I first read this, I, I probably had to read through it about three times to make sure it said one or more because that is pretty absurd. This thing would still see a good amount of play, a lot of play probably, even if it only said choose one. But yeah, giving you the option to pick two or all three of these is just pretty outrageous. But yeah, there have been plenty of other exciting spoilers this spoiler season, so make sure you check out my other spoilers and quick takes. And with that, the show has come to a close, so it's my turn to hear from you. So in the comments below, let me know what your thoughts on this episode are, and as always, thank you again and have a good one. This show and episodes like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. If you're looking for an easy way to help support this show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any new episodes. You can also go check out our playmats and other merchandise at thecommandersquarters.com. We also have a ton of brand new t-shirt designs in stock, so make sure you check out those as well. Another easy way to support this show is with our TCG Player affiliate links. So whether you're buying a deck or individual cards, you can use this general link right here or one in the description. And the final way that you can support this show is by supporting us directly by becoming a patron. There are many benefits to being a patron, and I truly couldn't do this without all their support.